Hey guys, Stuart Trier here from SEO Cheat Guides. So in today's video, I really wanna look at how you can grow your SEO business from where you are today to where you wanna go. And I wanna give you a strategy that's gonna allow you to break things down, chunk them down into actionable steps and really explain why a lot of people are having a difficult time going from here to here and how they can make it a much easier process. So we're gonna be using a strategy that Tony Robbins has developed. It's something that I've been using in my life quite a bit and I, I really find it to be effective. He calls it the RPM strategy. So if, if you wanna learn more about how Tony explains it, by all means, jump on YouTube. There's tons of videos, RPM strategy, Tony Robbins, you'll find it, no problem. So really what this breaks down to is you wanna start with your outcome, right? So many people like, they get to their desk in the morning and the first thing they wanna do is write out a to-do list and then they start on their to-do list. You know, maybe they start with a priority or, or they just bang through the easiest things and you know, they end up doing a lot of tactical things that aren't necessarily driving them to an outcome. So how you start this process is you start with the end result, right? I mean, this is a, a theme that you hear from Stephen Covey, start with the end in mind. All kinds of gurus talk about it in the same way. Tony's method is a little bit clearer in my mind, but I mean, you've probably heard this before, but it's just a matter of now conceptualizing how you can bring it into your SEO business and you'll see how easy it will make going from here to here in a digital marketing agency, which is really the outcome that I'm hoping for from this video. So start with the outcome. Once you have your outcome and the result you're trying to achieve, then you move on to the why. The why is really what powers up this goal, right? So the why gives you a very clear understanding of where it falls in your priorities. You know, we all have huge demands on our time and we're all distracted by all kinds of things. YouTube, Facebook, uh, you know, latest episodes of TV shows. Maybe you wanna watch the Super Bowl. Maybe you wanna go to the bar and have some beers. Maybe you wanna go to the gym. Whatever the case may be, the why really gives you the focus to say, where does this fall in my priorities list? So, you know, Tony likes to say, reasons come first, actions come second and, and really that's what it is it, it's what powers up your ability to focus and have perseverance when you're going after a goal and then the last step is massive action right and massive action is just there to say there are plenty of avenues to get to an, a result right like there's not just one way if you want to lose weight you know you can go to the gym and work out with weights you can do cardio you can do you know strength training you can do um, CrossFit there's hundreds of different things that you can do to get to the goal if the goal is to lose weight and it's just a matter of observing what works for you, tweaking it, and moving towards that goal. So it's no different in your digital marketing agency. There's tons of ways to grow a business. It's just a matter of where are you trying to get to and what is the most efficient way for you to get there. All right, so let's connect the dots here and go back to digital marketing SEO. So I'm gonna give you an example and I'm gonna walk through it. And then I'm gonna give you a link below that you can download a sheet that I use in my business to really give me the breakdown of what I need to do on a monthly, weekly, and even a daily basis. So this sheet, free download, I'll put a link below and you can go grab it after, but let me walk through how you can use it. So the first thing we wanna do is I'm gonna make up this example. Hopefully you'll be able to relate to it. So let's say you're at $2,000 a month and you have four clients and you know you want to get to eight thousand dollars a month right that six figure revenue mark is where you're trying to achieve so you have 2k a month you have four clients you have an average that's five hundred dollars a month per client you're trying to get to eight the difference between the eight thousand dollars a month you're trying to get to and the two that you're at is six thousand dollars a month is what you're trying to kind of grow that's the delta between where you are and where you want to go and we know your average client is 500 so six thousand divided by 500 is 12 new clients again you don't need to worry about the math the spreadsheet will do everything Everything for you I'm just gonna give you kind of the walkthrough and you know you'll be able to follow along once you have the spreadsheet in front of you so you need 6,000 you need 12 new clients so now we have a couple of numbers that we need to understand right you have leads that come into your business you're gonna convert a certain amount of leads into clients so we need to understand kind of what that number is. That conversion number is really important. So for the purposes of this example, I'm gonna assume that for every 10 leads you talk to, you land one client. That gives you a 10% conversion. Some of you are gonna be much higher, some of you may be lower, but I think 10% is pretty realistic for anybody at the beginning of the journey of kind of growing their business. 10% should be something that's really easy for you to achieve and something that you're going to improve over time as you improve it you're going to become more efficient and you're going to have to do less so you know you might get to a 20 or 30 percent conversion so you only need less clients or less leads in order to land those clients but for today we're going to assume 10 percent so we have 12 clients that we're trying to get to if we have a 10 percent conversion rate that means we need to talk to 120 leads 
right? 120 leads times 10% gives us a 12 clients times 500 gives us our 6,000 a month. Easy math. Let's continue along. We need to figure out how many companies we need to reach out to in order to get 120 leads over the next four months. So we're gonna do the math there, and this is another conversion rate. So if we assume 2% is our conversion rate of people we outreach to, to leads, then the calculator will do the calculation for you. It will return that you need to, you need to speak to 6,000 potential businesses over the next four months in order for you to hit that 120 leads. And what the calculator is there to do is to really do the math for you. So it's gonna break it down. It's gonna look at the 6,000. It's gonna say, in order for you to talk to 6,000 companies over the four months, you need to talk to 1,500 companies a month, 375 companies a week, and or 75 companies a day. And the real takeaway here is that tactical knowledge of that number. So in order for you to hit the overall goal, that you're trying to reach, you need to reach out to 75 companies a day. And this is the key takeaway from this spreadsheet and this is why it's really important and I definitely recommend just download it so that you have the ability to see your goal and tactically what you need to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis in order to hit that goal. So now that we have that number, we need to do what Gary Keller calls calendar blocking. We need to see, okay, we have 75 outreaches we need to do a day. How much time is that gonna take in our business that we need to devote? This is a key priority for us if we're trying to hit this overall goal, then we need to block the time and spend the time on outreach. In the beginning, that may be you, because in the beginning of every company, we, you know, we have limited resources. So you're likely gonna be the one doing outreach. So what does this outreach kind of consist of? So it consists of, could be email marketing, could be, uh, telemarketing, could be postcards, could be bulk mail, could be seminars, could be webinars. There's a ton of tactics you can use and we'll cover in future videos. But what we're really trying to drive home today is that you're blocking the time and making sure that you're outreaching to those companies so that you'll roll up to the goal and go from where you are today to where you want to be. That's the key takeaway. We all know that lead generation is like air to a business. The more leads you have in a business, so many good things follow from it. So if you have too many leads, what ends up happening is you're able to charge more. You're able to cherry pick the best customers. And when you cherry pick the best customers, you're just gonna be happier. You charge more, you're gonna make more profit, which is gonna help your business grow. You can hire more staff to help you and kind of dial up your business that way. Or you can refer the clients that you don't want to somebody else and take a kind of cut from them doing their work. So there's just so many things that are really positive when you have your lead generation system dialed in to a really good level. And it all comes back to blocking your calendar and making time because the why that you have is you really wanna to get to this objective, you need to block the time. It's just that simple, you do that and it's, it's virtually a guarantee that if you're putting the time on your calendar, taking the steps, noticing what's working, tweaking where necessary, you're gonna to get to this goal in four months. It's just that simple. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm gonna be 10Xing my company over the next 12 months and really what I'm hoping to do is share some tips, strategies that I'm using so that you can make your journey that much easier. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to download the free spreadsheet that I'll provide below and um, thanks a lot.